The coronavirus crisis, African Americans are dying from the virus at higher rates than any other race. The state is hoping to do something about it. Off the top at 530 in Michigan, African Americans make up 40% of the coronavirus deaths when they account for just 14% of the state's population. Yeah, so the state has put together a task force to better understand why and determine what they can do about it. Larry Spruill is live tonight. And Larry, you spoke to Lieutenant Governor Garland Gilchrist, who is heading up this group. What do you have to say? Well, Kimberly, he says this task force is needed, especially here in Detroit. Now, he simply wants to find out why the coronavirus is attacking the African-American community the way that it is. He says this is something that they have to figure out quickly. I mean, the truth is black people make up 14 percent of the population in the state of Michigan and thus far have made up 40 percent of the deaths. Michigan Lieutenant Governor Garland Gilchrist says these are numbers that are hard to digest, but it's the facts. That is why he's leading up a task force here in Michigan to address this issue. So this task force is going to come together, going to pull from different sectors, from public health, medical professionals, uh, faith leaders, community leaders, lawmakers. Now, it's no secret the coronavirus is sweeping our nation, but it's really hitting the state of Michigan hard, especially among African-Americans. Gilchrist says it's worse here in Detroit because the Motor City is the most densely populated part of the state. We've had uh, more cases and we've had more people pass away. Uh, I myself have unfortunately lost 15 people in my life to COVID-19 and have several other friends and family members who have been hospitalized. What's happening here in Detroit is also catching the attention of the U.S. Surgeon General, Dr. Jerome Adams. He talked about this issue Friday during a nationwide news conference. Let me be crystal clear. We do not think people of color are biologically or genetically predisposed to get COVID-19. There is nothing inherently wrong with you but they are socially predisposed to coronavirus disposure, uh, exposure and to have a higher incidence of the very diseases that put you at risk for severe complications of coronavirus. And so Gilchrist says that, let's be clear, he also wants everyone to follow the governor's at home order. He says, make sure you wash your hands as well. That is our best defense right now. We're live in downtown Detroit tonight. Larry Sproul, Local 4. Hey Larry, thank you. Well,